Hey everyone, what's going on? Brad here with Simple Preparedness. Uh, thought today I would cover the uh, trauma pack that I put together. Y'all saw in a previous video, I got the little pack for it and I finally got it completed. One thing in it, kind of eh about, I may replace that at a later date. But here we go. We have our trauma pack all put together and uh, Thought I'd tell you what I got in it, how I have it set up. Again, this is just my opinions. These are things that I thought would come in handy, things I thought I would need. By no means am I a medical expert saying you have to set up a pack like this or whatever. I'm just showing you what I thought would be useful and how I got it set up. So give me a second here, guys. I'm gonna spin you around and we'll take a close-up. All right. All right, so here we have it, guys. This is what I thought should go into a trauma kit. Uh, of course, the bag from Falcon, Meditech. And uh, right here on the outside, right off the bat, you have your tourniquet. This is already staged for one-handed use. I did a video on that earlier. You can jump back, check that out. On the inside here, what we have completely clamshells open. So up here we have our trauma shears. A uh, pretty good set from uh, North American Rescue. So we got those in there. I put in two pairs of blue gloves. Uh, blue, not black. Because when you're doing your sweep over the body and whatnot, you want to be able to see the blood. And black gloves, it's going to be harder to see blood. So I went with blue in this. Uh, up in here, we have our Israeli bandage, ready to go. On this side, small roll of duct tape. Why duct tape? Why not duct tape? Duct tape psh, does everything. We threw it in. You never know when a little roll of duct tape may come in handy. So we got that in there. We have some compressed gauze from North American Rescue. Nice little stack there. This here, I got some clotting gauze from Quick Clot. It's a small amount, as you can see down there, three inches by 24 inches. I'm thinking about getting something better, but I was trying to keep the cost down a little bit on this bag. But I went with this, it will do. It's pretty good stuff, it's pretty thick. I mean, we went with that. We have a little pen light here, a Tori. Got that in just for this bag. Uh, nice little light, I'm not gonna blind y'all. Runs on a AAA battery, has a nice little belt clip on it. Has, you can reverse it, put it down here, put it on your ball cap or whatever. But uh, I thought that'd be a nice one. Why would I have a light in here? Well, not everything happens during the daytime. So you may need a light to see what you're doing while you're trying to help somebody out. We also have a Sharpie. The Sharpie goes along with this. Because once you apply that tourniquet, you're gonna wanna write on here 
when you put that tourniquet on, so when somebody come, first responders or whoever show up, they know what time that tourniquet was applied. We have, of course, a Mylar thermal blanket to help with hypothermia. We have, again, high fin chest seals, two of them. These are the compact ones. So you always want two entry and exit wound. And as you already saw, I have two of the occlusive gauze strips. So there you have it guys. That is what I thought would make up a pretty good trauma kit. So hang on a second, let me turn you back around. So there you go guys. That was the trauma kit I put together. Uh, the clotting gauze, I might go with something a little better at a later date. Um, like I said, I was just trying to keep costs down a little bit. Most of the stuff in there is pretty good. Um, I thought that was gonna be a bigger package. It wasn't just the way it is. So I may go with something else at a later date. But that's a trauma pack I put together. That's gonna go on my new bag uh, for starting out the year. I thought it'd be a nice piece of gear to put on there. And there you have it, guys. Uh, not a whole lot to say about it. Again, I am not a medical expert. I'm not a doctor or anything like that. I'm just trying to think ahead a little bit. And that's what I came up with. That's what I thought would make for a good trauma kit to cover really bad injuries, puncture wounds, things like that. So uh, I'll try to put some links down below for everything that was in here. Um, if you think there's something missing, by all means, let me know. Again, this is just a trauma kit. This is not a first aid kit. First aid kit, you've already seen that. We've got the boo-woo bag, first aid kit, whatever you want to call it. We got that. This is for more serious injuries, gunshots, stabs, you know, losing part of a lamb, something like that. But uh, that's what I got for you guys. So, as always, be safe, be prepared. We'll holler at you later, guys. Bye.